welcome back. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the three subatomic particles, their relative mass, charge, and location in the atom. Subatomic is kind of a large word, but we can break it down into two smaller words, sub meaning below, and of course, atomic meaning like about the atom. So when we hear subatomic particles, we're just thinking of particles that are smaller than the atom. The three subatomic particles are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have a relative charge of plus one. Neutrons have a neutral charge, that's where the name neutron comes from, so this would have a charge of zero. And electrons have a relative charge of minus one. And when we're looking at a neutral atom, they should have equal numbers of protons and electrons so that the positive and negative charges balance each other out. All of the subatomic particles also have a mass, and in chemistry class, we are focused on the relative mass of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So the relative mass of a proton is one, the relative mass of a neutron is one, and the relative mass of an electron is about 1 over 1,840 compared to the mass of a proton. So the mass of an atom comes from the protons and the neutrons. We do not add the mass of an electron into the overall mass of the atom. The last thing we need to look at is the location of the subatomic particles. Protons are found in the nucleus, which is the center of the atom. Neutrons are found in the nucleus. And electrons are found outside the nucleus. In orbitals, which is where there's a 90% chance of finding an electron. So the overall mass of an atom comes from protons and neutrons. The overall charge of an atom comes from the protons and electrons. So if there's more protons than electrons, then you would be looking at a positive ion, which is just a charged atom. If there were more electrons than protons, you would be looking at a negative ion, which is a negatively charged atom. So these are the three subatomic particles that you need to know for chemistry class. Thank you so much for stopping by.